Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Walmart clothing haul. Um, before I get into the haul though, I wanna talk to you guys really quick about Walmart Plus. So I just signed up for it. You get two weeks trial free. And then if you give them some more information, I got another two weeks. So for one month, I get to try this out. It's a lot like Amazon Prime. You get free shipping, no set dollar amount. Right now it's usually 35 and up you get free shipping. But now if you put something in your cart for $5, you can get it in your house in two days and not have to worry about those shipping fees. You also get to get free grocery delivery. So you do have to tip the person. Um, from what I could see, it's $7, which I don't have a problem with. With shipped, I always felt they don't tell you what to tip them. So it always felt kind of like, am I tipping them enough or too much? So I'm glad they do have that set amount in there. And then you also get to use Sam's Club's gas station. So I know they do have a pretty good pricing for their gas, so you get to do that. And then you get five cents off their gas stations that are usually in front of their stores. And then um, the fourth thing I haven't used this yet is you can scan, take your phone, scan your items as you're shopping. And then when you go to check out, you just scan that barcode on your phone and you don't have to rescan everything. So it makes it a lot more convenient. They're saying that there's less contact with the machines and all that. So I'm excited to try that. But enough with the Walmart Plus. I'll have a link down below if you guys wanna try it out. If you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with the haul. So this is a pretty big haul. I'm gonna start off with pants and then tops. I have a dress, pajamas, accessories, shoes. So I'm gonna start off with the pants. I really, I don't feel like I shop enough there for their pants. I'm usually drawn to the tops, but I'm really, really impressed with the pants that I got. And I wanted to try like some new things, like new styles. So the first pair that I got are the super high jegging. They say curvy for everybody. They were $12.88. So this is what the front looks like. They have a little button there, but there's no zipper. So they're just like leggings. You just pull them on. I did get a size medium in these, so normally with no boundaries, I'll size up, but I feel like I sized up a few things and sometimes it's good to have a really nice fitted tight pair of pants, if you know what I mean, just to look a bit, little bit more dressed up. So I got the light denim. I know this does come in a bunch of different colors and prints. That's what the back looks like. Just really easy. And I, I am really impressed with these. They just, they feel comfortable, even though they are really fitted. They don't feel like they're squeezing too much. I feel like I could do a lot in them. I could bend, I could stretch. And I think they're really good for the price. The next thing I picked up are these camo high-waisted jeans from No Boundaries. They're really stretchy. I really liked the denim on these. I do have them in the coated denim. I showed them in my last haul. And I like them so much that I wanted to try these. So those are a little bit different texture. These are more stretchy denim. These are really comfortable, but I still sized up two to in these. Normally I get a nine and no boundaries um, and I'm a 28 normally in jeans, but I sized up to an 11 because the waist is pretty small and they are really short They're, they'll be really cute with little booties or even high boots you can really dress these up or down with a blazer a moto jacket a tee and a denim jacket um that would be really cute too and these are about 15 dollars the next thing i picked up is a pair of their paper bag jeans so this is definitely a new style for me. It says that the ultra rise mom jeans, but they are very different than anything I have. So I wanted to give them a try. I'm really impressed with the way they fit. I thought they were gonna look more like frumpy, but I feel like even though they are big and like a little bunchy here, they still look clean. Like they look like like I used can still you still look put together when you put them on even though they are this big year fit and then they are shorter as well at the bottom I guess because this is a juniors line that's why they make them a little shorter but these are definitely a shorter pan as well they could these come in a bunch of different colors and 
I got my normal size medium. I'm glad I did. I didn't want them to be too oversized because they do have this oversized kind of fit through the thighs and the calves and then they get smaller at the bottom. But I think these are gonna be really cute to dress up with like a bodysuit, heels, um, flip-flops and a tee, just from a more casual outfit. And I don't really have a lot of black jeans, so I thought this was good to try super affordable so if i don't wear them too much i'm not going to be upset about it the next thing i picked up is from time and true and i am so so impressed with these i don't know why i waited so long to pick them up i really i didn't even think about them honestly i think i showed them a couple months ago in a shop with me and they really just weren't on my radar of things to pick up but now that I'm getting older, I don't want it to be, some, there's some things like, I like putting on a pair of leggings, a hoodie, and doing my errands, but there's some things that I don't wanna go to or go in the store or like in a doctor's appointment with leggings on. So I think these are a really good option if you wanna be comfortable, but you wanna look a little bit more put together. So they feel just like leggings. They have their pull on, they do have a fake button, and like a fake zipper fake pockets on the back they do have real pockets but they are definitely a the feel of a legging to me they do have some texture i don't know if you could see so they have a jean kind of look to them but they're very very comfortable i normally size down in time and true but i got a medium in these and I think that they're perfect. I wouldn't, I'm glad I got my normal size. I wouldn't size up or down in them. If you're smaller in the hips, you could maybe size down, but these are just so good. They're $12.96. I wanna get them in a bunch of different colors. I know that I have them in white too. So I'm not sure how sheer those are though, but I'm really, really excited about these. The next thing I picked up are a pair of leggings. They're from No Boundaries, and I did size up to a large in them just because I wanted them to be comfortable. So they are a print, and I thought these were cute for spring. They do have a little ankle detail, which I'm not that crazy about, but I don't mind it. And I thought these would be cute to dress up or down with like a longer top and boots or you could dress it down with a denim jacket and tee and little sneakers. So really comfortable, really, really soft. I'm impressed with these. I haven't purchased their leggings in a while, no boundaries leggings. And they do have a nice waistband on them. They're really good. They're six, eight, ninety eight. So a little bit more expensive than I used to pay for their leggings, which were like about four dollars. But I think for the extra couple dollars it's worth it because they're really comfortable and something I'm gonna wanna put on. And then the last bottom is from Time and True and it's their like faux pleated skirt. I, don't, I need to steam it, but I did size, uh, I got my normal size medium and I usually, like I said, get a small in Time and True and I wish I did get the small because the waist is a little too big for me so I might exchange it for a small. And I think the way that the skirt comes out I really didn't need the the extra material. So if you're smaller in the waist, I would say definitely size down in this. There's enough room in the hips that it should be okay. But this would, these are on sale. It was $16.96. It's now online for $12 and change. So I thought this was really good for Valentine's Day. Um, you know, just a really, if you work in an office, just a lot of different cute outfits you could do with that and for $12. And then to go with that skirt, I got this top from No Boundaries. So this is, I think it was $9 and change. It's their mock neck top with a little bit of shimmer. I loved their, when they had no shimmer, those were really affordable. Um, just really good basics. So when I saw the shimmer ones, I had to get this and it's that with the skirt I think it'd be a really cute Valentine's Day 
look. You could do this with jeans and a leather jacket or under a blazer for work. That comes in pink, black, and beige. And they all have a little bit of a shimmer to it. The next thing I picked up was more of a casual top. So this is from No Boundaries. It is one of their waffle knit thermals. So this is color block. You have like one color on the sleeves and the hood and then through the body there's another color. This comes in a pink, maybe one or two more colors. And I sized up in this to a large too just because I wanted to wear it with leggings. I wanted some coverage and just more of a cozy top, not really fitted. Um, more of just like an easy everyday throw on. And then I loved this sequin top so much that I got another one. This is their peplum style and I thought this was another cute option for Valentine's. This was $7 in my store. So if you want, if you can't, um, might not be on sale online, but if you go into your store, you might see it for a little bit less. This comes in a bunch of different colors. It comes in red, gold, black. Uh, I got my normal size medium. There is enough room in here and the straps are a little long. So I definitely don't re recommend sizing up in this one. Just a really pretty top, especially to have for summer and spring in that pink. And then to go with the leopard leggings, I got this turtleneck sweatshirt from Time and True. This is another one I've talked about a couple times that you could really dress this up or down with boots, with jeans, with the leggings and boots, or just leggings and sneakers. So just a really cozy top. I did get my normal size medium in this and I wish, I don't think they had a small, that's why I got the medium. I wish I got the small because it was a little too oversized, but I think it's okay to wear with the leggings. So. If you want it to be a little bit more fitted through the body, I would say size down just because it is a really oversized fit. The next thing I picked up is this sweater from No Boundaries. I thought this was so pretty. That's what the detail looks like on it. It's just a really cozy, kind of like Barefoot Dreams, but not really. The threading is not as close together, but just still a really nice cozy top. I accidentally sized up two to an extra large and I'm a little upset about that because it is a little too big for me but it's still just a really nice cozy easy top um, $14.96 really good to wear with leggings with those light jeans that's what I was originally thinking with this because um, this is like really oversized and that's more fitted so I thought that would be cute together and just really nice and plush this comes in black and an ivory, maybe one other color, like a mint green, I think, but just really cute and comfortable. And then the last clothing item is so amazing. This brand is called Bardot. It's in Saks, it's in Nordstrom, and these dresses, there's a couple different styles, are only $15 on the website. So I was, you know, I ordered it thinking there's probably something wrong with it and there is. So I think the sizing is off. I got a medium, it says US 8 and the I'm like 38 at the biggest part of my bust and 38 and a half, 28 in the waist. And the, the bust on this is really small. So I did exchange it for a large. They're sending me that it should come in the next two days and I'll keep you guys updated on my community tab. But this dress is so good not to try it for $15 because it is absolutely stunning. The lace on this, you could tell the quality and that it is more of a designer dress. I also wanna pick up the black one. There's a couple different ones, but the hips feel like okay. I mean, it's definitely more fitted than I would like, but the chest or the bust area is definitely too small. I, I don't feel comfortable. I'm like kind of like too much cleavage for me, but that might be the style of dress. So I'll let you guys know how the large works out. But if you want like a really pretty 
valentine's day dress or something to wear for the summer if you're going on vacation or like a cruise i don't know if we're going on cruises again but if you have any event this is so pretty for the spring for the summer for valentine's i you you gotta try it at least size up one if you feel like you're you're bigger in the chest and the hip area size up one and I think it goes up to extra large. For pajamas, I picked up this set. I thought it was just so cute. It's from Secret Treasures. It's the little heart shorts and a tank top. This was $10, I think. Yeah, $10.87. So just a pretty, super affordable, cute little Valentine's Day pajama. And then for the jewelry, I picked up these earrings from Time and True. They're three studs. You get pearls, gold, like textured balls, and then solid gold balls. And I just love studs. I think they really dress up an outfit like super easily for $4.88 for three pairs. I thought this was so good. They're really nice quality and I don't think you could go wrong with that. And then for $2.88, I got this really pretty station necklace. So it's just really dainty, perfect to wear with other jewelry pieces or by itself. I don't like really heavy jewelry, so I thought this was really good. It says it's 18 inch short necklace with an extender. So I'm excited for this one. And then I also picked up from time and true with their four little hair clips. I thought that would be cute just to like put my hair up like that. Just an extra little pretty detail. You get four of them. The top one is a pink marble, a light like pink marble, silver glitter, and then confetti glitter. So for 40, I thought that was really good. And then in store, they had these Time and True sneakers for $5. I thought that was so good. Um, $5 for a pair of sneakers. And honestly, I put my foot in this one and I cannot believe how comfortable they are. So even for the full price, the $10, I think they're definitely worth it. There's lots of prints and colors in these. So if you just need a little comfortable slip-on pair of sneakers to run your errands or do anything like that these are really good just cute little um accessory with the leopard print you could be wearing like a black tee and jeans and just throw these on and then you have a completed outfit thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe bye